Yeah, I'm, I'm, hi, I'm Jasper. I'm your light boy for today. <laughs> this is my mate Jasper. He's come straight from the UK. We used to go to primary school together and he basically got me into the whole making thing. We used to make, what did we make? Warhammers. Warhammer, which are these like miniature figurines and he's an absolute boss at painting and sculpting and everything. And today we're going to be casting or press molding rings out of, so these are the original rings. And we've actually been experimenting casting rings with this Need It Putty, which is an epoxy, easy to acquire, you can get this from your hardware. And we're just kind of experimenting with how it goes. And it's very easy to use. When you can get it out of the tube. Not so easy now. <laughs> Child proof. <laughs> Never be one of those infomercial display guys. <laughs> Aha. Using RP7, which is a lubricant, and it's kind of acting as a release agent for these molds. It's, it's gonna, sagging. yeah. Find a temporary. So we basically just pressed it in and ripped it out almost instantly after. And it's got pretty good detail in the mold. Hardens in five to ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> How long would it take if we were to do this the proper way though? Like with actual casting. Depends what you're doing. If you're using like a two-part silicon putty, similar amount of time, but the silicon putty is going to be more expensive. If you were to actually create like a little box mold or something like that, mm. then you're starting to talk about like uh, you know five ten minutes to set up that, five ten minutes mixing your silicon, yep. maybe like forty-five minutes an hour. Yeah, right. And then really you're not supposed to straight cast from it, you're supposed to give it a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah, probably half a day to a day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Before it's actually usable. So this method could potentially be like a good alternative, a, like, a quick, cheap alternative. Yeah, if you want a nice, cheap and easy surface mold. <laughs> we can call the project Friendship Ring. <laughs> Friendship Rings. <laughs> I like how hot it gets. It actually gets quite warm. Yeah. Tastes like sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Let's see how this guy goes. Good detail. It's really good. Even that, <laughs> that looks kind of cool with yeah, that little crack. Yeah. It's like a chipped skull. It's got a few little surface imperfections, but it's not a bad cast. That is amazing. That took us 10 minutes, yep. roughly. So those are the inverted molds. Is that what you call it? Negatives. Negatives. These are the negatives. And then we basically just pressed the putty into those and made the positives. Yeah. You want to make sure you've got some kind of barrier though. Yeah. So we used RP7, which is a degreaser. No, it's not. It's a lubricant. <laughs> Makes it greasy. Yeah. And that worked really well as a release agent. Yeah, just sort of... Okay.
did you coat it with? Just a bit of PVA. So PVA to protect the paint. Yeah, yeah, and give well just to give it a gloss. Okay, gloss coat. That looks really good. In contrast with the uh, matte grey. Oh, try it on. Oh mate, that is awesome. <laughs> there you go. So cool. Sellies, eat your heart out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great solution to household, you know, sculpting yeah. enthusiasts. Like, you could literally take any piece of jewellery or you could take a, a toy or a figurine, press mould it and create your own. And, like, the fact that you can just buy it at hardware stores for, like, under $20 a tube. You just want to make sure you use some sort of release. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Schwitters.